April 3rd, 2011. This is today's climate change update. <clears throat> We're going to start in Fukushima, Japan. I got a story here. Radiation in Japan sees risk of animal death mutation? Question mark. In the past week, seawater samples taken near the nuclear power plant on Japan's eastern coast have shown elevated levels of radioactive isotopes including cesium-137 and iodine-139. All the life on Earth and in the ocean lives with exposure of natural levels of ionizing radiation, high-frequency radiation with enough energy to change DNA. Most such genetic damage heals, but the addition of human-made radiation can make it harder for the body to repair broken genes. Now I will attach the complete story below, of course. And uh, there's Leah, Leah, and um, we'll uh, let you decide for yourself. Now over to EarthChangesScott.net. One. Kashmir six tremor hits valley in eleven days. She's got a little shelf up there. She likes to attack me and buff from uh, 4.7 on the Richter scale. And they've been having several tremors in the very active area. That's right up where the India and the Asian plate meet. The Philippines are continuing their alert for the Tal volcano. Stay away from Tal. Palish warns tourists and residents. Um... Yeah, that's still ongoing. Cooperate with the officials on the ground. And, uh... In such situations, our first appeal would be to, heal the, to heed the authorities in staying away from the volcano's crater. No kidding. And those residents living in the, in the foot of the volcano should heed leaders' call to evacuate if the need arises. So they're definitely gearing up for a big quake going on in Tal, or an, uh, an eruption. We had a winter storm blanket in New England. Uh, of course, there was the April Fool's joke. Portland, Maine. An April Fool's Day storm brought heavy snowfall to parts of New England on Friday, giving thousands of kids a reprieve from school, but also causing power outages and a slippery driving conditions. Uh, like you guys aren't used to it after this long winter. That's a little tease right there at the end of spring, or the beginning of spring, huh? Over to the extinction protocol. Uh, out of Pennsylvania, we have a sinkhole epidemic. Sinkholes are an undermining fact of life in Lehigh Valley, a region where rainwater relentlessly wears away limestone. But the residents who keep a close eye on the gaps in the ground say recent heavy rains have made the problem visibly worse. And apparently there are, this is a sinkhole area, and uh, it's not uncommon for sinkholes to happen, but um, the residents are saying the sinkholes are happening a lot more rapidly. Um, they've got a story, 35 die in mudslides and flooding in Thailand. Floods and mudslides, mudslides in southern Thailand have killed at least 35 people. As last week's heavy rainfall continues... And I reported on this yesterday, almost a million people displaced. Uh, they've got a story on sudden plant death disease claimed linked to GM crops. Has technology become our undoing? And uh, it's basically attack on Monsanto and the things that are happening here in the United States where everybody's using all this crap. Soybeans and whatnot. <clears throat> Over to... Let's see, there's some stuff over in the RSOE. Got flash flooding in Ireland. No, that's the long term of day. Wait a minute. That's wrong. Um, nothing really new on uh, RSOE. Um, they got that. Yeah, nothing really new today. Just uh, stuff that's ongoing. So if I missed anything, of course, please uh, attach it to the links below or, you know what I mean, leave a comment, attach a video. Uh, it's late. I'm tired. 
Uh, enjoy what you can, and I'll see you later. Thanks.